My name is Andre. I'm an solution engineer at PDF Tron. Today I'm going to show you how you can embed PDF editing and viewing inside of your React app. We're going to do it by calling the command create React app uh, with a TypeScript template. So let's go ahead and jump in. So first things first, I want to go ahead and open up my uh, Visual Studio Editor, create a new folder, and inside of here we're just going to create a, a new uh, TypeScript create React app and change the directory to cd my app and now inside of it uh, this is kind of the project that we see we see that it pulled in the necessary node modules it has a public folder and it has a src folder uh, so for this one i want to add kind of pdf editor inside of app uh, tsx all right uh, so in here actually let's go ahead and start the app and just see what we have out of the box okay so it started a development server. If uh, I'm just gonna drag it over the browser window right here. Uh, so this is what comes by default with the React TypeScript app. You know, a lot of the stuff we don't actually need. So we can just take this out. Uh, we're gonna be manipulating it uh, all together. So let's just get rid of that. Uh, let's just leave this here. We no longer need the logo import. So we can just take that out as well. Okay, so the next step, I'm going to install a uh, PDF Transport Viewer. Uh, to do that, I will just do npm i at PDF Tron slash web viewer, and we'll save it as a dependency. Okay, awesome. Uh, so PDF Tron's web viewer is now installed. Yeah, it's right here. Uh, so at PDF Tron web viewer, um, we've got our web viewer.admin.js, uh, as well as our TypeScript header files. Um, as well as stuff that we would need to copy over to the public directory. So actually, let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, let's grab core and UI, uh, the two folders we'll need. We'll, we don't need to copy over UI legacy. And uh, let's just copy those two and put it into the public. So inside of public, let's create a new folder and we'll just call it uh, lib. And this is where we're going to put uh, core and UI, both of them. Now, on our GitHub, we do have this example uh, ready to go online. So you can actually take a look and we do have a handy script uh, written. I'll post a link uh, to the React sample. Uh, now let's go ahead and reference that uh, newly added component inside of um, our app TSX or the component that we actually want to embed uh, the PDF trunks web you're in. So we'll just say uh, web viewer from at PDF Tron slash web viewer. Awesome. Um, so there's a few things that we gotta do. Uh, so first inside of kind of our GSX blocks, we actually want to uh, give it a uh, HTML div element where it's gonna connect. Um, we can use it, you know, later on we might need um, a class name for it so we can style it properly. So let's give it a class name of uh, web viewer. And we also need to reference that inside of the call. Uh, so let's actually use um, some of the newer hooks provided from React. So as such, I'll import uh, use state, or uh, sorry, uh, use uh, rep uh, to reference a GSX DOM element inside of the code. And we'll also use a use effect uh, which is similar to kind of component did mount. So inside of here, let's declare our uh, reference. So here we'll just call it uh, viewer div, and it's going to be use ref, and we'll just give it uh, a now. So we'll just add it now HTML div element, and let's add a reference uh, to it right here. We'll just say ref equals viewer div. Um, so this is a div element that web viewer is going to mount. Now inside of here, uh, what we're going to do is to actually initialize web viewer the first time around this loads. Um, so use effect takes a uh, function to execute um, and also takes an array of dependencies. Okay, uh, so inside of here, we can now call web viewer. Um, and so web viewer uh, kind of takes in an options object as well as the reference to our viewer element. So let's go ahead and say that the path, since we placed it in this public um, folder uh, as a static resource, is just gonna be available um, under this path right here. 
property called initial doc. Um, so this could be a URL of the document we're trying to load. So we just kind of want to test it out. So I'll just kind of grab one, grab a sample PDF. Um, I've got a link right here. And then as a second parameter, so this was our web viewer options object. And now we need to give it a HTML uh, div element. So as such, um, I can add it here. So it's gonna refer to viewer div that current. And we're gonna say it as uh, HTML div element. Okay, so calling this function right here will actually uh, return a promise to us. Uh, when the promise gets resolved, we're actually going to get an instance object of the web viewer back that we can use uh, later on in inside of our function. Let's go ahead and run that app. So again, it loaded on localhost uh, 3000. As you can see that it created the web viewer. However, the styling is just a little bit off. So actually, let's go back. And since we created the class name web viewer, let's add it to the app.css. And maybe just at the bottom here, we'll just say web viewer and give it a height of 100 vertical height. Perfect. Okay, and let's see the changes if now they're refreshed. Ah, perfect. Okay, great. And this is how you do it. Um, this is how you embed a PDF Trans web viewer inside of React TypeScript app. So I was referring to the APIs you can do. We have quite an extensive documentation available online. Uh, you just go under pdftron.com slash documentation guides, and we can do all kinds of different things. Like for example, we can create notations programmatically, we can edit, split, merge PDF, implement various signing workflows and others. Thanks again for watching and subscribe.